I had a checker here, and as you can see, I built a couple of guitars the past uh, few weeks. So uh, yeah, I guess uh, nothing, <laughs> nothing else to do these times. And uh, so I used the time to uh, build like my first series of guitars, and it's the uh, Mint Maple series. And I want to show it to you and uh, play the guitars, and yeah, kind of talk a little bit about the uh, different specs because uh, they vary quite quite a bit. So uh, to start off, I would show you the first wind maple guitar, and yeah, this was actually like a inquiry, so it's a little bit different. And it got like a uh, rough, unfinished hemstone body. So, uh, as you might know, my bodies are made out of this hemstone, and it's pure hemp fibers, water, and a little bit of uh, pigments. And in this one, in this case, it's uh, yeah, it's not finished. So it's like sprayed on, and uh, it gets like this this rough, rough. Uh, surface and yeah I just sand it slightly so it's not that sharp but it yeah it's it's great because it's um, gives like a very nice grip so um, yeah really really sticks to the body and also on this one I got like a um, hempstone uh, hempstone binding on my fretboard so this like piece of hempstone from the body as a binding, so just on this side, and this is uh, like maple binding, and yeah, it makes you see the uh, dots a little bit better. And other than that, it's all flamed maple, and the top is uh, spruce double top. This is one of the actual uh, models for the, of the series, and uh, what's different about this? Um, this got like a also uh, unfinished hemstone body, but it's not that rough. It got like flattened uh, before it dried, so it's got like some texture to it, and it feels like a little bit like like paper or yeah, it's kind of uh, feels a little bit soft. Uh, and I really like it, and yeah. It's also like pure unfinished. You gotta be a little bit uh, careful with like water. So um, yeah, as like your normal guitars, you you don't uh, pour water over them. But um, yeah, in this case, when water gets on it, you just let it dry and then nothing happens. But uh, you shouldn't like put put like uh, like clean it with like a sponge or something. <laughs> it wouldn't be good good idea. Um, yeah. So this one got this, um, like the others from the series, got a, a laminated neck. So it's like a, I think in this case, five parts. They're a little bit different. And yeah, they got like a um, veneer in between. So it's a mint colored uh, maple veneer. And everything else like also mint. Um, Maple, <laughs> and uh, on these ones I got uh, 
like these green permut dots like they have like greenish color and you see much better on the uh, light maple than like the white ones Okay, so this one is like my favorite <laughs> and it's uh, basically the same like the last but this uh, this one got a uh, white finish so I put like a white dye into the uh, French polish so the French polish itself uh, is like white and uh, first I put like normal French polish and then like the, the white on top and I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a little bit, little bit transparent, and you actually you like you see the, um, the spruce um, like the, the, the um, like the wood itself, like the grain. You you see it really through the white, and it uh, when the light shines on it, um, yeah, it kind of uh, isn't like it's like a little bit like. Um, ivory or something it's not uh, totally white and yeah you see like the wood underneath and also the, um, the French polish really sinks into the wood and gives like really nice um, uh, wooden look and yeah, also made the uh, neck white so it's got like a little bit of a sunburst kind of effect where it graduates from there and yeah, so I wanted to make it like um, transition more seamless to the uh, white top. Yeah, everything else is like uh, on the other guitars, and that's what it sounds like. <laughs> like a little bit different it's not um, the maple series I call it uh, color blue sky because it got this uh, nice blue color and uh, yeah, someone uh, asked me a long time ago to make a uh, Eric Clapton blue guitar <laughs> uh, so I made like uh, uh, this body a long time ago and I thought it would kind of fit to the whole theme like the mint maple is uh, kind of similar to this um, light blue and yeah, therefore 
uh, I used this one and it's also like all the maple and this headstock is also or this neck is also segmented and yeah it got like blue stripes instead of the mint ones and on this one I also got like the white top so uh, it was a little bit tricky to get like the exact line but um, yeah I taped it off and uh, kind of did the uh, white first and then like normal French polish over it so it got like really this nice white contour and yeah for the promo dots I I look for the bluish ones, <laughs> so um, blue dots, and yeah, also the body is like this rough, like the first one. Okay, moving on to uh, another one, and it's a special, special guitar, and I made it for Nadia Kosinskaya, and as you've uh, seen my, my last video, maybe, uh, she played a guitar right here, and uh, yeah, she really, really liked the guitar, and um, yeah, we figured out a nice model for her, so it's got the uh, red red body and it's like semi semi rough but finished and yeah it's also got the like a white top and it's actually it was was her idea um, to make like this this white transparent top and yeah this one got a little bit different so um, it was kind of kind of yeah a learning process uh, let's say <laughs> and how to make this top and I had problems with the transition and I kind of sanded it back and forth and it created like these um, because it um, this top is sonar wood and it has like micro waves in it and when I sanded it, it it basically looked like a flame like like waves so I thought then, uh, why not use it and um, polish over with the white so it's like um, like a white white sunburst, reverse white sunburst, um, with like these uh, kind of wavy patterns in it, uh, and I think it looks really really nice. And uh, she also loves it. And uh, yeah, so this this finish, uh, I don't know if I will ever be able to kind of uh, do it again uh, because I think it only works with the uh, Sonar Watch top, and uh, yeah. I don't know, uh, maybe I'll try it out someday, but uh, for now it's kind of unique and also um, yeah, she wanted to have like uh, her uh, name in the fretboard, so I made like these uh, permut inlays um, in the fretboard and also we got a um, hemstone covered a uh, pickguard. So, so these, these pickouts are really nice to kind of uh, rest your finger on it when you play and um, yeah, protects a little bit uh, the top as well. And yeah, so for this, um, this one I got um, a Sonowood wood uh, top. Uh, she really liked the, the sound of the Sonowood. wood. Uh, it's quite different than the, um, the spruce ones, uh, you will hear that uh, in a second. And uh, it's a little bit not, not that loud, but um, yeah, kind of uh, sounds quite quite um, nice and uh, distinct and really sweet, I think. And also uh, we got the um, a Sonowood uh, bridge. So this is uh, Sonowood uh, maple. Also the uh, neck is uh, Sonowood. And 
I stain it a little bit so it's a little bit uh, gets a little bit darker. Also for the headstock we got some uh, Sono wood and she also got the nice red fretboard binding uh, made from hemstone. Yeah, and what else? Oh, I uh, got the uh, frame. The some ports are made from uh, the great uh, hemp wood. So yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, fancy stuff going on with the, this one. And I think it sounds really nice. Also got like um, two pickups. I um, have pickups in all of these, so um, all of these have the uh, KNK Pure Mini and uh, this one and um, this one got the uh, Misi Air Trio which is like an active uh, pickup, it's like an under, under saddle pickup, it's like the stripe and it also got like a mic and you can charge it via the uh, output jack. So there's like a battery built in, so you don't have to have like a battery ca case or something. And yeah, can, you can charge it and uh, it saves, saves like the battery skills for environment. And yeah, it's really nice and uh, comes in handy. And yeah, now I will uh, play this one for you as well. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Um, I hope you like the guitars if you want to uh, own one you have to contact me <laughs> go to my uh, website i will put a link in the description and there will be like the exact specs and the price and yeah these uh, mini maple series uh, they uh, they are like my approach to make like a more more affordable version so these are quite quite affordable and um, yeah, because I do this like in a series, I, I save like a lot of time. Like, uh, I actually kind of wrote it down and uh, I was uh, twice as fast as like normal. So uh, that's that's good. And uh, love to do like more like this series kind of uh, works. Uh, it's much nicer workflow. It took me like, I think like um, eight, eight to nine weeks for these uh, seven guitars and yeah it's uh, quite quite fast and yeah so <laughs> that's gonna be it and see you next time <laughs>